Friday night. That means it's beer review night. So this is what we're doing. Big banana. Look, that's my name. Those Brussels. This is a Belgian IPA. If you don't know, this was made by Dudes Brews. Um, I'll leave the link to his channel up here somewhere. Or is it up there? I don't know. I don't care. Um, and you go and have a look. I won one of his competitions, which was basically tell me what you want me to make. So I thought, I left it quite open. I said um, I would, I wanted uh, him to use hops he hadn't used before, a style he hadn't done before, and kind of a yeast he hadn't done before. And this is it. Hmm, it's interesting. So yeah, then, yeah, we basically ended up with a Belgian IPA. So I think it's a Belgian yeast, I don't know. I really should have done my homework, I can't remember what yeast it was. It is a Belgian yeast. We've got Mandarina Bavaria and Hallertau Blanc. 6.7% 57 IBUs. And there she is. This is my IPA glass. It's my Belgian IPA glass. I say that every time I use this glass, I say that. Not a massive amount of head on it. Perhaps that's the way I poured it. I don't know. It's pretty cloudy in there. It's a lovely kind of orange colour though. It really is nice. The more you hold it up to light, I know you can't see it, but when I hold it up to light here, it looks great. Smell. It's, it smells good. It doesn't smell... It doesn't smell like your typical IPA. It is fruity. But it's not kind of... I don't want to say it's citrusy fruit, but there is a bit of an orangey note off it. Probably from the um, mandarin. But there's also, but it's not citrusy as in like grapefruit and passion fruit and you know all the, the new world hops, let's say. This is very much old world hops. It actually smells a bit, um, it smells a bit whiny. I mean, there's Hallertau Blanc in it, so I've never had Hallertau Blanc before. But with the name Blanc, it kind of makes me think that it does have like a, it's something like Sauvignon Blanc or that type of thing. They are related somehow. But it is very, it's quite a grapey smell, of it, but really mixed in with that kind of, kind of fruity type. Sweet. It actually smells good. It's not a hot bowl, my, but it's, it does actually smell good. I'm just wondering, can I pick up any of the yeast? It's hard to tell, but I'm taking, I'm getting. I think it's no, I think it's the that kind of white wine smell. I mean, white wine is quite fruity as well, too, when you think about it. Okay, I'm going in. Cheers, Richard. That's quite, it's quite pleasant actually. That's really, that's quite nice. Wow, how do I describe that? Mm. There's definitely more of the orange on the taste. Really like carbonation. And it's kind of like a. <clears throat> it's got a bit of a bitter finish on it. 57 IBUs. It's not bitter when you take it in, it's really nice and sweet and fruity. But then after it goes down, you are left with this kind of lingering bitterness. Which I suppose it is an IPA. It's 
to, it is really nice. It's kind of, it's hard to describe. It's hard to describe. At times it tastes like, uh, it tastes like an, like an old world beer, you know what I mean? It means, uh, it tastes like, you know, the beers made with those kind of hops. But yet at the same time, it's got this really fruity kind of twist to it. Which is obviously coming from the Mandarin of Bavaria. Possibly the Hollow as well. I mean, I said it smelled like white wine, but it doesn't actually taste like it. It is quite sweet to begin with. But then the longer it lingers, it kind of starts to get a bit more bitter and I'm trying to think of the words to describe the flavour. It's it's not just orange, there is a good dose of orange in there. It's like real sweet. Maybe maybe florally type flavour or something in there. That's actually that's really nice. Quite like that. Not really getting a lot of the the yeast kind of flavours, the Belgian yeast kind of flavours, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, I don't mind a Belgian, but um, sometimes you can really overdo it with a kind of real intense spiciness of the yeast to the point where it actually takes over the entire beer. Um, but that's quite nice. That really is nice. Um, yeah. And I got nine balls as well too, Richard. Thank you very much. So it might actually... I might actually send one or two of these out to people to see what they think. It's, it is nice. It definitely is nice. It's not what I was kind of expecting. I was expecting it to be... Maybe it's the carbonation one that was doing it as well. It's really light. But I was expecting it to be really kind of spicy and really... I don't know, really fruity, not fruity, but really kind of aggressively, I don't know, fruity and earthy and stuff, but it's, it's really not. It's actually really quite nice. I think that's come out quite well, Richard. I really think you're on to something. I would, maybe, if you were doing a second version, maybe tweak it, lower the, the MIBUs a little bit. And um, he may be on some, so yeah, I think that's it. I might have to go because I'm nearly out of beer, and you know, so uh, yeah, I think that was a success. I genuinely think that was a, a success. I mean, I love beer, I love any kind of beer, so uh, you were always on the winner, to be honest. So yeah, I'll just say it. cheers, and um, yeah, cheers to everyone else.